Sometimes trappers, even when it's snowing, you still got to run your sets. Uh, it's called dedication. Trapping's a little bit different. In most things, you can't just call her quits because you don't feel like it. Uh, things are going a little slow today. And uh, got off work, checking my sets. Cup of coffee, cosmic brownie, no toilet for miles. We'll see what happens. But we got a cocoon here, so there's something. Hey trappers, this be skunk number nine. Blind cell, blind, yeah, blind set coming over a dam of a pond. It uh, produced, catch about anything on these trails. I was just preaching about it the other day, wish I'd filmed this set. But anyways, he's still alive, so we'll get him dispatched. Hey trappers, getting dark out this evening. Running my last sets at a walk-in spot. You know, uh, it's snowing, crazy weather. But you know what I love about trapping? I'm away from people. I'm out here enjoying, loving what I do. When I got back from training from the Army, you know, I lost my sense of purpose for a while. And uh, it took me a couple years to get it, but as I started doing stuff outdoors again, I got that toughness and gritness back to me and, and that, uh, that motivation that I've been missing. You know, I, I was struggling there when I got back from training, I, but I was living in the city and for a little while and, and uh, being outdoors is where I'm meant to be. This snow, the sleet coming down here in November on the trap line, miles away from anybody. That's where I want to be. So let's finish these lines up for the evening, get home for supper. Hey trappers, Logan here with you. Uh, out on the trap line. Uh, got out of the truck, brought a friend today, and we noticed that uh, some beavers were, uh, were checking this pond and some beavers have been coming up and down a spot. I hadn't noticed this spot yet, but we got out of the truck, checked it out. Say hey to Steven. How's it going guys? And so here's our set. You see there, they've been uh, climbing up the bank. It pinches right down here, and we got our snare set right there. So anyways, guys, get out of your truck. I even make that mistake, and hopefully we get a beaver out of it. What do we got here this morning? Looks like we got a cocoon and a DP. Got a mud bath going on here. Got dumped on the last few days, ton of rain and uh, refreshing the DPs yesterday and got us a coon. So that's pretty neat, I'll take it. All right, Trapper, so since I may have lost the footage for the first episode, which was 50 minutes of coon trapping with me and my kids, um, I caught 40 coon in the first two days. Wasn't a lot, but we had some fun. And uh, since I lost that footage, it's nice now, maybe I can show you you know, some coon trapping. It's nothing fancy, just DPs and one and a halfs and, and res results. We got a lot of coon here in Iowa this year. So, anyways, this nice big coon you can see there, fluff ball, uh, big boar, and uh, we'll get him dispatched. Move on to the next one. Hey, trappers. So, here's this uh, a pond dam set of the, one of the overflows. You see there, my. Uh, there's what my 110 was on. Here's the muskrat caught in the rear quarters by the 110. That's the second one caught in this spot. It was a very narrow trail and usually I, I would have missed this little trail. Um, but I had it set for mink and muskrat. This muskrat number two at this spot. And so kind of look out for those little narrow trails set next, you know, on the pond dam. Because there's about eight trails going over the top of this one, so a small one would have been easy to miss. So, anyways, results. Hey, trappers. So, we got a uh, nice, well striped skunk, uh, dog proof, second one at this spot, and uh, just gonna get him dispatched and hang out until he expires. So, shouldn't take too long. And have a nice striped skunk with no spray. On the next one. 
Hey guys, uh, Thanksgiving Day uh, evening now. Ran my trap line this morning. Had a good uh, dinner. And uh, getting ready to skin some stuff in the evening. Hope you all had a happy Thanksgiving. Um, hope the food was good and the family was great. So anyways, just wanted to go over a quick thought. Alright, so... It's easy when you ditch trap, or even when you walk in, to get in that uh, tunnel vision mode where you just uh, you set the same spots every year and you forget to check in between those those good spots you set. Alright, so this year I'm going to make a point to set those in-between spots. Uh, I brought a new trapper with me on my line. Him and I have been friends for quite a little while now. He's a good guy. Uh, and the uh, fresh eyes helped out on my trap line. He said he learned a lot from me, but I learned just as much from him. Honestly, uh, I got that tunnel vision going on where I just set my spots and I don't even get out of the truck and check the in-between anymore. And uh, so, since uh, going out on the line with him, I'm going to be adjusting my line and uh, not missing that fur that's going in between my spots that I set every year. Alright, so that's just kind of an evening thought. I hope that helps somebody out because uh, it definitely changed the game for me. So, anyways, just a final thought. Hope you all had a good Thanksgiving and tight chains.